Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. A 14-year-old has become Australia's youngest ever champion in Paris. Arisa True taking out the women's skateboarding park event with a top score of 93.18. Australia's also claimed bronze in the men's team sprint cycling, while our men's team pursuit set a new world record and will race Team Great Britain for the gold. In other news overnight, the Boomers lost their quarterfinal to Serbia after a heartbreaking five-point loss in overtime. The Aussie men had been up by as many as 24 points at one stage. Good news for the Aussie women in the 1500 metres with Georgia Griffith and Jessica Hull through to the semis. Lyndon Hall has another chance in the repercharge. charge. America's Democratic presidential candidate has announced her running mate on her Instagram account. Kamala Harris selecting Minnesota Governor Tim Walls as her vice president. The federal government's being urged to provide more details on Australia's terror threat level. ASIO has raised the level from possible to probable for the first time in two years. Director of Strategic Analysis Australia, Peter Jennings, says the government is avoiding the tough conversation about where this threat is coming from. The key source of threats and violence that's taking place in our community right now is coming out of pro-Palestinian protesters, many of whom will be decent people just opposed to the war, but in that protest movement is the hard inner core, which I think is becoming more and more violent. The opposition maintains the federal government isn't doing enough to tackle inflation. The Reserve Bank has left interest rates on hold at 4.35%. The RBA says inflation is still at the higher end of expectations and must come down further. The National Tertiary Education Union believes members are living in uncertainty, unsure if they'll have ongoing work. Universities Australia has told a Senate inquiry 14,000 staff face losing their jobs under the federal government's changes to international student numbers. The union says that represents 10% of its workforce. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, West Tigers centre Justin Olam has accepted a four-match ban for a high tackle. He's elected to undergo knee surgery, putting him out for the season. And games organisers have cancelled training for open water swimming due to pollution in the River Seine. It's the fifth time the water quality has forced a swim familiarisation session to be cancelled during the games. In entertainment news, a Stranger Things play is making its way to Broadway, a stage show based on the popular Netflix series will open next year. And that is the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you later on for another update. I'm Susie Thompson.